and welcome to the Valder Baby Show, Andy Hicks. Thank you for being here. Happy holidays. You too. I want my audience to know I'm speaking for you with hey, Help us get some information that you're going to need for the holiday. You know, Angie, you know, there's some top project homeowners undertook this year, and the new year is coming up. What can we expect? Sure. This uh, We just released our, the Angie State of Home Spending Report that does a look back on 23 and how homeowners were spending to take care of their homes, as well as a look forward into 24 on what they anticipate doing. Overall, spending was strong in 23, and we expect it to continue in 2024, with popular projects in 23, including interior painting, as well as bathroom remodels, and regular maintenance. So that's tuning up your air conditioner, cleaning your gutters, all of those little to-do things that you need to do to keep your house in tip-top shape. But the important thing is they also help you to avoid emergencies or unexpected spend. So they're a really good way for homeowners to stay on top of things. When we look into 2024, homeowners are saying they're going to be spending on new appliances. I think there was a lot of pent-up demand from the pandemic when appliances were hard to, to find. And then additionally, kitchen remodels. Uh, and keep in mind that a kitchen remodel can be can can run the full spectrum on costs. You know, sometimes people think it's oh, it's a huge project, but you can even do little things like changing out a backsplash that can give your kitchen a new look. Also, homeowners plan to uh, stain or paint the exterior of their homes as well. Uh, and that doing those maintenance projects will continue as a top project in 2024. I want my audience to know I'm speaking with Angie Hicks. She's the creator of Angie List, which is now Angie. She wanted to help homeowners find uh, someone you can hire, you could trust. And she's become a icon in our time, our lifetime. Angie, do you have any tips to help us plan or that big word budget for budget. home improvement <laughs> projects project we need this year? Absolutely. So this is a great time of the year to start thinking about it. It's like New Year's resolution time. So uh, the first thing I would recommend is to walk around your house. Don't think about budget to begin with. Enlist everything you see that needs tackled, whether it's uh, a structural problem, a mechanical problem, all the way down to, gosh, I'd really like to put a new deck on my house this year. And then you want to lay cost against those items. And if you don't know what, how much a project's going to cost, you can go to Angie.com, and we have all kinds of cost guides that can give you a range on projects. Once you've got the pricing, then you can start thinking about budget, laying your budget against it and determining what projects you're going to put on your to-do list for this year. How do we determine if this is going to be a DIY project? Because you know there's all kind of tutorials on TV, you know. Yeah, right. you can build a room on your house. I'm going like, don't do it. But Not me, yeah. <laughs> how do you know if it should be a DIY project or uh, a professional project that we end up calling a professional for anyway most times? Yeah, I mean, a lot of those remodeling projects are usually always a professional project unless you've actually had experience in that historically. I also put electrical as well as a lot of plumbing on that list as well because I've always been a believer that water can be your home's worst enemy. There's nothing worse than a leak that, that ends up destroying your house. Uh, then when you're determining whether you should DIY or not, I would think about three things. One, do you have the do you have the talent? Do you have the skill? Do you know how to do the project that you're going to be tackling? Also, do you have the tools? So back to those videos you were commenting on, a lot of times those videos are done by professionals with the right tools. And if you end up having to buy or rent tools, that's going to add to that DIY budget and may not make it as attractive. Then you also need to know how to use those tools because we don't want people getting hurt either. And then finally, do you have the time? So a project that might take some, a professional a couple of days to complete might take you several weekends by the time you fit in a few hours here and there. So you want to understand exactly the full, you know, kind of what you're getting yourself into and being honest in that assessment. Angie, you have given us some great advice. My poster from Instagram wants to know, how many years have you been with Angie as the CEO? And what have so, you learned? 
<laughs> so I've been, uh, I've been at Angie, uh, for nearly, uh, nearly 30 years. I started, uh, we started Angie's list, which is now Angie back in 1995, you know, like learned so many, so many things over the years. I think one of the biggest things is, you know, homeowners truly love their homes and, you know, kind of helping guide them through making good decisions about hiring good pros is important. And I think one of the biggest things when it comes to working with a pro is having good communication. So, you know, when you're interviewing pros and you're talking to them, make sure it's someone you feel comfortable talking to, especially on a bigger project, because they're going to be around for a while. and And that communication is key to success. Angie, I want to thank you for stopping by the Val BB Show because you've been a great inspiration to so many people, especially women. We have seen your evolution. We have used your services. So we wish you the best that the season has to offer, and thanks for being my guest on the Val BB Show. Oh, thank you so much. It was great. It was great being here. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you also. Hi, I'm Val BB, host of the Val BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.